What's going on? How you doing tonight? Pretty good. I like the suit. That's fresh. Cool. You talking with your buddies on Discord? I am talking, yeah. Just figured I'd get on here. <clears throat> and talk to your buddies on Discord? Yeah. Well, we ran out of things to do, so now I'm, I'm on here. So. <clears throat> so, why do you feel like men today are not competing as much as they used to? Why do you feel like more men come up with excuses why they're not successful? And what do you mean not just like general being <clears throat> more men don't generally? even want to try to make even past average money. I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't want to be successful. That's weird. What are you trying to do with your life? Uh, I'm a, an electrician, like an apprentice electrician. How long have you been doing that? Like three months. Okay. So you're trying to, what, become a master electrician or what? Yeah, at some point, you know, like in four years, get my journeyman's license and then make more money. Right. And what do you, what do you try to, when you make money, what do you plan on doing with it? Like, what's your plan? Like, I'm sure you at least thought at least seven years ahead. You make this money, what do you plan on doing with it? Uh, hopefully buying a house. Uh, people, I feel like people say it's unrealistic to buy a house, like, for people my age, but I don't know. I feel like it's doable. So I'd like to buy a house and then, um, uh, I don't know, have a lot of money in my savings and whatnot. It's not that people are trying to say it's not possible. It's just sometimes it doesn't make sense with the ability to be able to travel more and everything like that. It's just, you're just kind of leaving yourself to where you're kind of stuck, you know? It's true. Right. So that, that's why sometimes they'd be like, Hey, just go ahead and rent a place with a roommate. That way you can have some flexibility. Are you planning on being married here in the next seven years? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Um, not trying to count your pockets, brother, but seven years. What is a ballpark of what you're be trying to make a year? Ooh, geez, I don't know. Let me think. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's like ambitious, but hopefully over like a hundred grand. I don't know. That'd be cool. Maybe find like a different like stream of income, you know, or like multiple streams of income. Okay. I would suggest going at least as far down as you can, as long as you can stay single and keep your sanity. Um, because if you want to be married, the more money you make, the more options you're going to have, right? True. Yeah, so you don't have a girlfriend right now? No, I, I do. Okay, well, then, uh, that seven years I just said, let's take it back. <laughs> How long y'all been together? A uh, year. A year. When do you plan on marrying her? Uh, like six, seven years, probably. Don't do that. Well, you me. know, I got to get through school first. Uh, no, I got to get through that, school first. And then... That don't do that to her. Six, seven years. Because if you get six there, six years down the road, here, I want you to just think about this, young man. Let's just play it all the way out. Six, seven years, gets, you get down the road. Let's say a year, six and a half. I'll break up. You're making six figures like you hope to be making. Is she going to be able to find another man like you when six years has passed in her life and she'll be how old? How old is she now? Like 20. 20. She's 20, so I'm okay. like 26. Okay, so you're going to put her out at 26. Okay, y'all break up. Is she going to be able to find another man like you? No, nah, I don't think personality wise, maybe like money wise though, you know. Oh, you think so? Because when she breaks maybe, up with a guy like you, she's gonna now she's gonna have to go search for a man like you. And how many men make six figures in their twenties? Percentage wise. Probably not a lot. Very, a very, lot. very, very little. And so her chances of finding another six figure man, should you get there, are gonna be slim. And you wasted six years of a young woman's life. Why not marry her in the next, let's just say, six months? Well, she, <laughs> she lives like uh, like five states away for one thing, so it's like it's like a long distance relationship. She can move. So, I mean, she's in school, and then I'm in school, and we're in different states. So, so uh, I'm assuming that when you start making this money, you'll pay all the bills, right? Uh hopefully not all of them. Hopefully not all of them. Why not all of them? I figured we'd 
<laughs> you know, like go half, not maybe not half seas, but she'd pay some of it. We're pretty equal like that. Don't you think that you making that kind of money into the six figures, which makes you a around a top, about top 13% man, if you get past that, you start getting into the top 10%. Don't you think it'd make more sense for you to pay all the bills and use her when you have kids for her to be able to raise your kids and build a legacy for you and all that instead of having her work and now you're spending more money just to take care of the kids because you got to hire other people? Are you saying she should be like a stay-at-home like mom then? If you're going to make that kind of money, yeah. I feel like the more money, the better. I don't know. I got She's passionate about what is the school See, for. See, that's the thing. She is, wants to if, pursue like a career in that. So, is she gonna work for you? Not, not for me. No. Well, then, her, then her degree is not helping. You. My point is, is, if you get to this place, if you're 26 or making a hundred thousand dollars, you don't think you can uh, employ her? Maybe she can be your accountant, secretary, something. Right, something to keep your plans going. Somebody that when you need somebody to call up for an electrician, guess what? Who, guess who they're gonna call? Hello, this is Mrs. Johnson. Oh yes, he can be out there tonight. Yes, <laughs> yes. And guess, and guess how make how much easier that is for you. You're getting more business. You're networking with more people because she's also a woman. So her social skills are going to be good. Her soft skills will be good, and you're going to be out there putting in the work. So it would make more sense to employ your wife because you're already making enough money that can cover the bills instead of her go getting some degree, helping you kinda, and now you're losing out on potential money because you could have your wife. That's true. I like it. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna that's what her. that's what a lot of men, man with money, do. They employ their women. You know, they employ their wives because they can do all that yep. stuff for you. If you got to go hire some random broad on the streets, it's a lot different, right? Then you have yep. somebody who can take care of your kids and raise your kids exactly like you want them to be, instead of both of you going to work for eight hours a day, coming home, and then Billy tells you, "Hey, some boy taught me this," and you're just gonna be like, "Oh, where'd you learn that from?" And then here you go. It's like, damn, I'm making all this money only for my kids to get raised by somebody else. That's true. Um, yeah, my boss, like his wife, like works for him, I think. So you're seeing it right there in front of your face, yeah. man. Now, the, the hard part's going to be what is she going to school for? Uh, genetics. Yeah, see, that's not going to work. <laughs> so that's, the, that's the hard part, brother. Um, I'm not here to fuck up nobody's relationships so y'all y'all live it up um but you know the hard thing that t- let's take you aside i i don't know y'all's dynamic but i see a lot of things with men who who are ambitious like yourself who go to make a lot of money and stuff like that <clears throat> it's hard to get a woman on your program because you're like hey babe mm-hmm. i'm already making the money just come on over here let's get this thing running and some women they get that ego and they're just like but i got my degree in genetics like babe who do you know works in genetics Oh, nobody. Exactly. So <laughs> it's, it's hard for you to tell them that and be like, hey, babe, it's kind of a useless degree because you're not really going to be able to do much. And I'm already making that kind of money. Uh, let me say this last thing. And the reason I push this so hard is because you know why women, you don't see too many 30 year old attorneys that are women. Why? Law firms have came out and said it is so hard for them to keep women over 30 because they either get burned out of having to work that many hours or they want to build a family because their time is ticking to be able to get pregnant, right? So by the time your wife, ter- oh, I'm sorry, your girlfriend, hopefully she's your wife by the time this happens, by the time she gets 30, brother, she's going to be want to be done with work because once the kids start happening and life starts to get going, she's not going to want to work in no fucking genetics. She's not going to want to work 10 hours a day. She's not. Women get that in their head when they're young. They're like, I got to go be superwoman until they realize what it's like to be a man and work it on the damn time. And they hate that shit. Men do it because we are providers. We do it because we want to build a family. Women, they get to that point. They're like, I don't want to do that shit. So that's all I'm saying. If you can get her before she starts getting into this useless degree, or be like, hey, babe, how about you go into business? (laughs) Something that we can actually do together. That genetics isn't going to do anything for us. As she wants to build with you. I don't know what yeah. happens from this point forward, but be honest with her and just have the conversation. Just be like, hey, what what about this? And if she says no, you know. I'll bring it up. Yeah. I, I wish you the best, brother. Thank you, brother. Peace out. You have a great night. Thank you.